young man putting the same question to Eddie the Dude. Son, Eddie told him, all you paid was the looking prize. Lessons are extra. Hello, this is Warlord. As you can see, I had the tune Donkey loaded, and what we're going to do is get it ready for use into iCloud, including lip sync. Now, what we're looking at here is um, the facial document for how things are loaded down the timeline. Now, this is from the beta test. I'm not sure what will end up in final release, but as you can see on frame one, we have brow raise inner left, frame two, brow raise inner right, things like that. It just goes on down, and then we have our visimies down here. Uh, e, 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 R, I, ah, those things like that. So what we can do is actually come in and transfer these into the timeline on the right keyframe, which would be like number 47 uh, for the O, Vizemi, put these in the proper keyframe, and then iClone will know how to read it. So what we need to do is pick out what in here will work. We're just going to pick out a few. Uh, what you have to do is figure out what you want working out of the available morphs, and then we try and figure out how to convert the rest by just making our own morphs. So let's go ahead and get started. Now what we need to do is see what we have available. Uh, so with this selected, what we need to do is select the proper part that will have the morphs. There's your morphs. And let's go see what it has. There's some things to do with lips, purse lips, part lips. As you can see, there's some things we're going to be able to use fairly easy, some things you may have to make. Uh, like here's a TH for example. So let's take a look and see where TH is. Okay, TH is number 52, keyframe 52. So what we're going to want to do is come over to keyframe 52. And then we'll go 100% on TH. And now that adds TH to keyframe 52. Now let's take a look. We have O coming up next. So let's see where O is. O is number 47. So we will move to 47. Now we'll turn on our O, but we also need to come back here and go to the TH and make that go to zero. So that all we have here is the O. And if you'll notice, watch the mouth, you'll see it moving. Okay, next one looks like is F, so we just keep working. F is 51. Move it up. And this, this is going to be your preference as to how much of this you want to use. But always make sure to turn your previous one back to zero. Otherwise, you're getting a blend of the two. Now, I've gone ahead and added a few more to it so we can move on. And like on 16, where it's kind of like a pursed lips type thing, uh, let's go ahead and take a look at it and see. Lip smirk is what it actually is. Well, for it, I used pursed lips and uh, I believe it's also pucker lips. And that'll give us some effect, too. So there's things in here that you can use to make up for what you don't have. And you'll want to go ahead and fill this out as much as you need for your character or as much as possible. But let's go ahead and move on and get this ready to go into 3D Exchange so we can use it. So File, Export, I'm just writing over one I've already saved. We want animations more if you want it pretty much set up like this. Remember only one rule in here, the final bake rule. Accept it and let it write it. Now we're ready to go ahead and load it up into 3D Exchange. So let's go ahead and load up the Toon Donkey. You'll get a warning about it being over 30,000 faces. And then here are the particular morphs that we added to the timeline in Dash Studio. The more morphs you add, the longer that list will get. So let's go from here and convert to a non-standard, just like you would a human character. 
Okay, now our back legs are going to be the legs down here. We just have one extra bone to contend with. So we're going to start off. And what we're going to do is just skip a bone. And you may find out later that there's a better bone to skip than the one you skipped the first time you set it up. But all we want to do is get the basic motion in, and this works. So that this right here, this takes care of the back. Now we'll do the front. It's not really very complicated. Elvis. Now on the spine, if you connect it back here, you'll get an error message. You'll need to connect it up here. If you want to see the error message, go ahead and connect it like that, and you'll see it's not really connected in the hierarchy that it needs to be. Now we'll go ahead and do our head bone, and now we're ready to go active. So let's go in here, right eye left eye right ear I'm going to do these as extended everything's looking good tail do it as extended and just in case we might want to rotate the hooves or something like that we can go ahead and, and map those nubs, the hands and the foot, to extended on the body. And that way it will be available in the dialog to us. So it looks like we've pretty much got everything mapped there. Now in order for this to display right, once we take it into iClone, we're still going to have to set an active T-pose. Otherwise, the legs will cross over each other. So let's go ahead and this is something you'll do by trial and error. Set our T pose. And now we're ready to convert. Now let's go into our expression editor. Set up our face. And I like to make these movements a little more pronounced. Make sure you click set. Otherwise, it will not take what you just put in. What we're doing is going tilt right, tilt left, things like that. So we have upward, downward, leftward, rightward, tilt left, tilt right. Eyes. Rightward, leftward, downward, and upward. Now here there's nothing to do with the jaw as far as the jaw bone goes, but we do have the mouth speak morph over here. So for at least our drop jaw, we can go ahead and use that. Set. Now we don't really have a, a left or a right. Uh, if you want to, you could just set basically any kind of a morph in there that will make it move. And this is again is just trial and error more than anything. Now let's move on to the Visme. Okay, over here we have TH. Set. O set F set and that does pretty much the only 
lysomenes that they had. And now what we have to do is just kind of set it up to where at least the mouth will move. And again, this is trial and error. There's probably better ways to do this, but this works for my purposes. You'll probably you know, define your own way to do this. Just remember to set and just try and set the mouth at least open to the degree that that mouth is open in your uh, visomy example. Something to where it will have something to do when it comes across a word that triggers that particular visomy. And remember, you can mix, you can blend over here. time goes on, I'm sure a lot of people will find better ways to do these. Okay. Now we have a full set of visomies. There is no muscle to work with. In custom, like we have the nostrils flare, I set that up uh, on the first and second keyframes. So I guess we could probably set that for the nostril flare. Hit set. And then, of course, you could do a lot of different blending for some of these. And set as many as you want or think you'll use. Pretty much, again, personal choice. We'll go ahead and stop right there. So we have the custom tab, the visomy, the jaw, the eyes, and the head. If you want to save this, you save profile right here. And now we're ready to go ahead and apply to iClone. Now as you can see it comes into iClone with a little bit of trouble there. We could have fixed that back in 3D Exchange. But let's go ahead and take a look here at how easy it is. This will also show you your extended motion box. Right here is the hand. And of course remember it's not a hoof because this was actually a humanoid type thing we were using to map. So we'll just straighten those out, close it out, and there you have at least have the hoof straight. Now let's go ahead and check the facial animation. I'm going to use a CT script for this. I recollect the young man putting the same question to Eddie the Huge. Son, Eddie told him, all you paid was the looking prize. Lessons are record. Okay, so the lip sync's working, and not too badly. Now, one thing that I need to show you that I did not is how to set the springs. So we're back in 3D Exchange, and we've clicked on the Edit Spring. And as you can see, here's the bones that are available. So what we want to do is, like, we'll select the ear bones, and we'll activate the spring. Now, your settings are in here, and these are things you'll just have to experiment with. To find out what's best for you uh, but you can go ahead and set them differently it just depends on how you want to use it you don't have to use all of them in the tail I'm just going to use the top one and then I'm going to use the last one so what I've done is activate four springs here again you'll just have to play with these different settings to see what works best for you we'll go ahead and apply that Now here's an example of those flex settings, those spring settings. Just adds a little more pizzazz to it. 